Hey, so, uh, welcome to the shop. So off camera, I've installed the lathe chuck. That's pretty boring. This is a D15 cam lock. That's just how they work. And I've rough aligned the outside here. Now, what's here's what's really awesome, guys. So I um, go off the outside first, and I'm not worried about you guys reading the indicator because your absolute value on the indicator simply does not matter at this stage. Uh, it really doesn't ever matter in terms of run out. You're just looking for relative numbers. So that's pretty tight. That means I've got to loosen my low. I want that to jump about two thousandths. So we look for our highest spot, which is this screw here. Give it a snug. Look for our lowest here, let it settle, loosen about two thousandths, Our tightest here, I don't really want it to move much, I just want it to be tight, so there we are, we're dialed in within a half thousandths on the inside on this side. Um, I'm not going to show this on both sides. This is a relatively short operational video. It's mostly an explanational video. I like that word, explanational. It's not really a word at all. Um, we're dialed in on the outside here. So I don't generally use cutoff tools um, for barrels because I run the risk of things shifting inside the chuck jaws, which would be terribly suboptimal uh, and I've had it I've only had it happen once I haven't had it happen since so what I do is I just do a rough alignment here and and then I just cut it off with a hacksaw and then I flip everything around and do that uh, that seems to work the best for me because uh, I get it close first and then I cut it and I face it and I'll deburr and then I'll use my gauge pin and I'll indicate off my gauge pin. That's just my process, man. Everyone does it differently. Uh, one thing to remember is I don't, Shylan generally doesn't make you do this. Uh, Douglas, when you buy a barrel, a 24 inch barrel blank from them, it comes to you 25 and a half or 26 inches long. They expect you to cut it down which is just something you need to know when you buy a barrel blank from them. And these barrels come long. Now my target on this is like a 23 or a 24 inch barrel. I kind of don't care. Uh, this gun is for me. I'm not that picky when it comes to barrel lengths. Frankly, I think if you're within an inch, it doesn't really matter, except when it comes to being 16 inches for ATF purposes. They care a lot more than I do. And I'm not going to do a threaded barrel on this because I don't really care. Uh, I don't run suppressors. And it's a hunting gun. I think the, the thread protectors do take away a little bit from the je ne sais quoi of the guns. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people are starting to run cans. It's very understandable. I do thread a lot of barrels for people. But... It's not a huge make or break thing for me. So I just don't do it. So, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. And, you know, just one thing I want to make sure for myself is that I'm in my... I want to make sure I'm in B6. Because that's really going to matter for the next step. And I'm going to have to do a test cut... And in all honesty, I might actually just do it on this barrel stub I'm going to throw away anyway to make sure uh, I'm actually cutting a one and a half millimeter pitch thread. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope this gives you an idea of some of the work that goes into chambering a barrel. While this is a five-minute video, 
I'm about 40 minutes into setting this up so far to make it not necessarily perfect, but very close to it.